All right, so it's like 73 degrees, which is the coolest it's been in like nine days. We just had a rain. I was hoping to take a walk in the rain, but there's no rain. It's starting to get late. So we have this remnants of Hurricane K that is giving us a very rare September shower. It's almost exceedingly rare, but it's to be determined if uh, what we had this afternoon is the end of it, then it wasn't all that much. But we just went through a really oppressive heat wave. It was consecutive days, like seven days in a row, over 100 degrees with high humidity for Los Angeles or probably anywhere. But I think it was like, I saw once it was 60 something percent But it's super humid and I'm sweating my ass off. It's just all, all things that are on naturals to Southern California. It was nice to have everything, everything got a pretty nice shower scrub. It definitely feels cleaner now. It was uh, kind of smelly around here. So I don't really know where I'm going. I was kind of drawn towards the freeway. So we're walking down 5th Street right now, and by some metrics, 5th Street is a kind of a dangerous street, but once you get past Pershing Square in this area, it's much more safe. There are never any tents in this. I used to work right down the street here. And uh, as long as I've been here, we've never been allowed to camp in this area by the library. I suspect that once we get to the other side of the freeway, it will change. But who knows? They do random cleanups, so like whole tent city areas will be there one day. And you go there a couple days later, and everything's gone. That hotel is from True Lies. That's the Bonaventure Hotel. The scene where they're, they're going up the elevator with the horse. So these buildings, not only do they have security, but they have like a whole army of security. Probably not right now, but during the day, there's, there's gotta be like 20 to 30 security guards in that office.
kind of a kind of a creepy nighttime thing and it's usually pretty pretty safe and all that but you never know it changes from day to day So it looks like after all these years, they're finally replacing the, the metal guardrail on that side. I think this is new. I don't remember this being here. I remember it being more like the other bridges with the really low railing. But hey, this isn't bad. And that there's the 110 freeway. So it's kind of weird. I had to take my dog to the vet in Orange County and on the way back there was trash blowing all over the freeway. It's kind of weird right now. There's a, there's a very slight breeze and it's just, I would say, just above room temperature. Definitely weird weather for this time of the night. All right, well, a change of plans. There's uh, my spidey senses say it was not a good idea to go down that street. So, we're just going to go this way instead. Well, hopefully nobody notices me with my camera. So, this area on occasion has lots of tents lined up along this street. So you can see way off in the distance there, that's 5th Street, and it used to come to this intersection right here. But when they built the freeway, they turned 5th and 6th Streets into one-way streets, so they kind of redid everything. This is a very, 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 very quiet part of town after dark. So I wouldn't say that it's uh, a stupid thing to do. I think I, I think I know how to read the situation. But you know, after a tropical shower, after a really messed up heat wave I felt a little bit entitled to do this I'm gonna cross the street because there's a couple people around here
So this is kind of the destination. It's almost midnight, so probably not the best idea to be walking around with my camera out as such with its little silly, silly looking gimbal thing. So I'm gonna take some time lapse and call it a night. First thing on the agenda is getting the hell out of here. Oh, there is a sidewalk. So I want to avoid going straight ahead where the camera is pointed. I walked by the other the other day and it was pretty sketchy. So let's go the non-sketchy route. So sometimes walking around here at late at night is sketchy. It's surprisingly not sketchy more frequently than you would think. With that being said, there are things that just kind of give you anxiety. Corporate green space. Can't even tell if that's coming up on the camera. I hope so. So corporate green spaces, there's lots of these in Los Angeles and downtown Los Angeles, specifically Bunker Hill. They're basically just break area. In theory, they're break areas for the employees, but people don't smoke as much and some people just prefer not to leave their office. I don't know what that's all, that's all about, but But as far as I know, you can walk around any of these areas 24 hours a day. Which is nice. Because it's safe. There's security everywhere. And magically no camping takes place in this part of, part of downtown. But where we were on the other side of the freeway was very sketchy. I don't walk around. I don't recommend walking around there at night. Or maybe not with a camera.
looks like we're fenced in, so let's go this way instead. It's a weird 24 hour area here, and I guess that's because of like the work that gets done at night and the 24 seven security. There's always someone watching on camera. There's, there's always eyes here. Music. It's like 1 a.m. This is kind of it's kind of fun. I'm not complaining. Oh, this was the one of the first high rises in the in the area. It was built in the 60s. This whole area used to be lower density. But look in there, that's south. So towards 7th Street. 7th Street was like the commercial, one of the commercial main streets going east to west. And then over this direction on Bunker Hill where the Bonaventure and all these other buildings are. This would have been lower density, mostly residential. That was the first night. I think it's like 71 degrees. It's the first night we've had 71 degrees in over a week. So reason to celebrate and reason to make a video. But it's a little weird out. You don't see a lot of people. I think everyone's kind of fed up of it. The heat island effect has been real here. Every surface until the rain every surface was just radiating heat even at night it was miserable and my building is really old and the air conditioner cooling tower and that decided to go kerput so i've been over a week without an air conditioning and it sucked and to anyone that lives in houston or anything like that i know but it's crazy to us Hey, how are you? Good, thanks. Can I get Philly cheesesteak? Medallions? Philly cheesesteak? Yes, sir.